Well, hello there, my friends. Chris Mark is here with you for Arcadia Economics as we continue on our coverage in the silver world and some news from Silver Elephant today. John Lee, who runs Silver Elephant, joining me here, going to walk us through that. You have some drill results from the Sunawayo project. And John, can you give us a brief recap of what you found. Well, Chris, we acquired this project back in September of last year. This is, a, this is a Greenfield new discovery of a package that's 60 square kilometers. It's never been drilled. And we drilled 15 holes starting in December. The, first, the results of the first two holes came out this morning. And uh, the hole number one uh, drilled 137 meters of 36 grams of gold, uh, sorry, of silver. And then the hole number two drilled 30 meters of, um, of about 45 grams of silver. So I think if on, the, on the map on the first, on the, on the left, you see that this is a trend that runs 15 kilometers. Okay, so this, I think first thing takeaway is that this is a very big land package. Um, and uh, Elephant owns the blue area and the government owns the orange area of which a 350 million ounce discovery was made at the border on the orange side. But the project is one of the same is the joint at the hip. So we've proven the theory. We drilled 15 holes. The first two holes results come out. The grades are not so impressive, but the, the width and that it starts from the surface and that it was open at depth is um, we are extremely pleased uh, with what we, what, what, what we observed. And then secondly, Chris, if you look at the location of the first three drill holes on the, on the map on the right, these drill holes, the first three is at the top left of the land of the land package. These up here. So the reason we started with the least attractive, it's not by design, but because of the access, we needed to build a path towards the sweet spot. So we started with the Northern fringe and, uh, and, uh, and we were very surprised to see how, what the thickness of the grays are. And so, and then if you do a score a little bit further down, So you can see that this on, on this spot in, in the middle left is the Puyuni area with the two drill holes. And you can see there's a fault, right, across in the middle. However, you can also see that if we would just offset these drill holes to the west, uh, and because the mineralization starts from surface, it's conceivable that, that the, the hole, the results are being of even, even greater depth. And, and then also that if you see the intercept, the silver grades are very, very consistent. So what that tells you is even though we hit the fault on the east, but everything underneath is, remains open. So that is, that's a very, very good sign that the mineralization could continue. Um, as the deposit in the south, that mineralization continues up to 500 meters and still open. So we only drill, this is the tip of the iceberg. And that we're highly encouraged that that the, the surface sampling mapped very well to the mineralization underneath. Uh, so there's no so what's quote unquote surface enrichment. So how does that matter, Chris? That means that potentially when we go out there and grab samples that shows silver, there's a good possibility that there's something underneath, right? And we, we grab over 950 samples over eight kilometer stretch, 87% of that shows silver grays from one gram. To up to 458 grams. And all the best parts is in that Kabolo Uma area of which there is the drill hole from four to drill hole number 15. <laughs> the program is getting wrapped up. We're on hole number 10, which is around right there. And uh, the, the best for last is the ones near the South as we approach the 350 million ounce deposit of our neighbors. And um, we're very pleasantly pleased. We're very pleased with what we see so far, the thickness that the, that the fact that it's near surface and, uh, and that uh, we will be releasing the remainder 13 holes, probably in two or three batches. And that if the drill hole number four onwards continue to see uh, the consistent width and maybe increasing grades, uh, Chris, we are, uh, we're on path to a major bonafide Greenfield Silver discovery. You're looking at a strike length of four to six kilometers with intercepts starting from surface that could go as deep as 500 meters and the width of the of the land right you're looking at i mean this is a one this is a 500 meter in that little square there so you, you have a strike of up to five kilometers maybe longer and you have a width of it could be potentially up to kilometers and if you do the mass of the tonnage of to say 200 meters i mean this is potentially 100 to 200 million tons 
And at a modest of an ounce per ton of 30 grams, you're looking at potentially 100 million ounce silver deposit in the making, in addition to our Pulakaya project, which you talked about in the past, and, and potentially easily surpass our 300 million ounce target. We step by the end of this year, and we're only, Chris, into February. Well, John, I appreciate that. I know you've been uh, having a lot of news out lately. It's great to see you following up on on the progress and doing uh, things that you guys have set out to do. So just in wrapping up, can you let folks know the website? What's the best way where they have questions, they want to get more information, if they want to have their financial advisor talk with someone and find out if it's the right <laughs> fit? How do they do that? Yeah, of course, we're very active on uh, LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook and uh, YouTube. The best way is uh, just search Silver Elephant John Lee Twitter. And, uh, and then just literally typing Silver Elephant Mining. Uh, the website's URL is silverelephant.com. All the information is updated. Um, the detailed maps is on the page. So I encourage you to go to that. And then, uh, and then the sign on to um, uh, Twitter as a follower of which you're gonna get uh, daily updates from me, not only specific to Silver Elephant's development, but also the silver market in general. We are in for a wild ride. I think uh, we have an excellent chance of breaking out $30. And once it gets past 30, it's anybody's call. Well, I appreciate that, John. And we'll look forward to staying posted. And thanks for all the info today. Thank you, Chris. And we are clear.